Good morning, I'm Abigail Hankey. The United Nation plans to hold a ceremony today for the victims of Saturday's shooting. The friends, family and co-workers all expressing their thoughts following it. We spoke with a close friend and co-worker of two of the victims. He was definitely the, my favorite person to say hi to when I walked into work. He was just a really good person. He was, he was only 35. This is a horrible thing to happen to someone so great. Now the ceremony starts at 9 this morning. Happening today, Vice President Kamala Harris will make a stop in Wisconsin. It's her first visit to the state since taking office. She's scheduled to tour labs at UW-Milwaukee, also expected to promote President Biden's economic development plan. We've been hearing a lot about the Packers drama lately, so in case you're missing one of your favorite former players, here you go. From the frozen tundra to the farm, former Packers wide receiver Jordy Nelson says now that he's retired, he's enjoying that life and says he's also got a new hairdo. It's just a little longer. Well, good morning to you. Meteorologist Brittany Merlot. Today, below average yet again. So what you felt like yesterday, kind of repeat that again here today with lows or highs in the low 50s to mid 50s. The difference is the rain pushing on out of here. We're going to stay under cloudy skies today, and the wind's kind of strong, sustained up to 15 miles per hour, gusting into the mid 20s today. They're not going to ease up until later tonight. We could see a few pockets of sunshine after 6 o'clock, but also clearer skies is not the best thing, especially if you did some gardening at all this past weekend in that nice heat wave. We are now in a frost advisory from midnight tonight until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for portions of northeast Wisconsin. Of course, if you have any sensitive plants out there, please cover them up as temperatures drop to right near that freezing mark overnight. But as we go through our day tomorrow, abundant sunshine moves in and it's going to be the nicest day of the week before more scattered showers and clouds push in by Thursday morning.